Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here and welcome to another unboxing video and um, first impressions. I'll give a massive thanks and shout out to um, Ben, Ben Boyd, my fellow admin on Galaxy Sega. He's kept me up to date and in the loop with this project for many years now and um, yeah. he had my investor package turn up at his address and he's being extra quick and get this shipped out to me. I just want to share with you guys the video and my first impressions. Of there is any jump cuts guys, I can guarantee you it's any because I'm struggling to get into this box. We should be in guys. Now I know there's been a lot of videos on this already covering this game and I'm a bit late to the party but with such a significant controversial release I've got to share it with you guys I really have it's an important bit of history in the making here so there we have the watermelon logo I've deliberately tried to stay away from the unboxing videos because I want to get my absolute first impressions of it so we'll cut that seal. Oh wow, guys, look. We're, we're greeted with a lot of pink. <laughs> so we'll lift that up out of the box, guys. Wow, 10 out of 10 for presentation and packaging. Look at that. Paprium Investors Mega Pack. For sale and use in EU, made in China. Investors Mega Pack. Oh, sponsors. So, there's a seal down the side there. Thank you. So first up, we've got a postcard. A still from one of the lift scenes by the looks of it in the game. And a thank you for your patience, Foz. And then next up, we have got an FAQ sheet, which you are a few minutes away to enjoy the best of the 90s experience. Please take a few moments to read this page. A few moments, my God. If any of you guys interested in that, I'm sure you can pause this video or it's readily available, I'd imagine, on the Watermelon website. But yeah, an FAQ sheet there. And then we have Paprium Volume 1. 1988 a little booklet there oh yes the XXX small Paprium Showtime panties investors only hmm something tells me they'll be staying in that packet guys <laughs> sure what that is a little pin maybe and there we have it there's Paprium the game in the little blister pack guys which all of their games come in it's how my peer solar came on the Dreamcast, and I've also got Pappy Commando released, distributed by Watermelon Games in a similar case. So yeah, there's a seal on there, and there's one last thing in the box. So presentation so far, guys, is 10 out of 10, you know, you can't knock Watermelon for their, their presentation. This looks like it's Size X Paprian. This must be like a an art book of some description. 
So, right, I'm not going to open this. I'll put a picture up. I know exactly what this is. It's the kind of like jockstrap type thingy jig that was in the in the famous video. So yeah, I'd imagine this is a pin. Let's open it up, find out, guys. Ah, crinkly, crinkly. Ah, yeah, a little pin in there, guys. That's pretty cool. And then we'll open this up, which I believe is is like a comic book. It's really nice artwork actually really cool little comic book graphic novel type thing there oh wow it's also got a calendar in it for 1988 by the looks of it <laughs> that's pretty cool okay yeah so it's got a little calendar in the back there and a comic book pretty cool the postcard signed by Fonzie, which is a personal little touch, I suppose. Then we've got this Paprium Size X Paprium. I'll cut the corner there. Oh, wow. So it's got like a Oh wow, look at that, it's got a protective cover on it. And it's all artwork from the game. That's really cool, I really like that. It's the one thing I will say about Watermelon Games is their printing and presentation is always really top rate. So yeah, we've got loads of development tools, the music, software development, the packaging. So yeah, kind of a bit of a history on the process of making Paprium. Eight years in the making, you thought I'd be a bit, bit thicker than that. <laughs> yeah, so here we go, guys. Here is Paprium and it's kind of weird I'm not like mega buzzing and excited because it's just been so long waiting for this game and I don't know I wasn't one of those guys thinking we'd been ripped off and this was never going to surface. I always thought that Paprium at some point would surface but I wasn't sure whether it was going to be the game we were all expecting and I kind of still have that feel about all of this. The presentation all of this is lovely you know but what matters is the game and this is up against one of my favorite games of all times and it's one of my favorite genres and is paprium still significant you know a lot happened in 2020 you know we got streets of rage 4 finally the game was released and streets of rage 2 is the peak it's the pinnacle it is the in my opinion best side scroll and beat them up and for another side scroller to appear after all these years on the mega drive is this going to compete well we're about to find out guys let's open up um the seal here again i'll snip that off camera because it's not going to be easy yeah i've just, just put a slit in there and then we've got these to contend with then So we've removed the blister pack and then all important we have paprium. Now first thing of note this is a cardboard box and it ain't a very strong one. This is slipping and sliding in my hand. As you can see it's not 
well supported. It's not like Sonic and Knuckles where you've got a tray. Is it style over substance? Is it style over practicality? Um, he's opening it up. We've got the numbered release there, I'd imagine, is that? So this... folds out like so yeah it opens all out and then in here we have even more stuff looking like a poster there some paprium stickers you break the sound barrier shockwave supersonic squad Mega Drive 32X coming full 2019 only for the 32X. Time to dust your MD Paprium. Little advertisement there. Major pest trouble. Another Paprium postcard. And then the instruction manual, guys. Again, absolutely amazing artwork and graphic design has gone into these. Got a map there. Just going to flick through it. You know, I love the artwork. There's the stick. I wish, in a way, um, that I got the stick. Let's see what the poster's like, guys. And then you've got the map, which is pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, so we've got the map there. And a post up, which is pretty cool. I like that. This yeah. is really flimsy, guys. It's the only negative I have. And then there's Pat Brim. The all-important cartridge. Pink. Mine doesn't seem to be rattling. I've heard a lot of people's are rattling. Here we go, guys, moment of truth. There's the foil. Break that foil. Waited too many years for this one. Yeah, mine's not rattling. It's absolutely fine. I've heard there's like a metal plate inside. And I've seen pictures, actually, of the insides of this car, and it looks stunning. If I can, I'll put a picture up. Just the attention to detail and everything has been thought of. But look at that. I'm, I'm kind of speechless. I really am, guys. You know, I'm being quiet, but I'm just soaking it all in. You know, we've waited so long for this. This game, it's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. There we go. There is Pat Brim. Oh, my God. I really am lost for words, guys kind of a numb feeling you know I'm not going yes and going absolutely mad even though I should be because it's a blue spine boys but yeah there we go guys we've talked enough about packaging presentation print quality let's play the bloody game <laughs> gonna plug it into the Mega Drive and switch it on let's see what happens guys NX terminal manufactured by Sanofix, property of Paprium, do not temper with, ROM OK, SRAM empty, no saves found, pick your language, and we want English, do not switch off saving, success. Right guys, I've turned the lights off, I have zoomed the camera in the best I can, trying to get you guys the first impressions, you know, with me. I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, there is a jump. Oh, God, awful. Huh. So, yeah, this is just really awful sound. <laughs> There's people relaxing on the beach. And that's game over. 
So this is kind of like a bit of a troll move, I believe. I don't really know what the purpose of this is. Um, let's reset, see if that does anything. No, nothing. Let's turn it off and on again. Because I never want to hear that music again. <laughs> Disregard any previous message. This game is not licensed, sponsored or endorsed by Sega Corporation. Watermelon Games 2018 to 2020. So yeah, a bit of jargon there, a little bit on the story. So as we was expecting, awesome presentation. So you've got arcade and original mode. Let's go to original mode. The first empty slot, hard. We'll start in the middle. I'm going to be this guy. So C is jump. B is your punch. A is a special move of some description. Block is X. Y is like a shoulder drop. And Z is a weird zappy thing. <laughs> this looks absolutely stunning, guys. It really does. These guys look very Streets of Rage 2. I have to say it. Very responsive, absolutely spot-on controls. You know, you're, you're getting hits happening straight away. So there's no delay. Absolutely brilliant responses. Just trying to do sort of like a few little combo moves. That does behind, that's nice, I like that. So B and C will do a nice little behind move when you're surrounded. The music sounds stunning. Ah. The colour scheme and graphics kind of remind me more of a Sega of America type game. Um, if you guys know what I mean. Rather than the colourful graphics of a, a Japanese Sega game like Streets of Rage. A lot more pastel colours, but I'd imagine you know, that was its intent. It fits with the theme of the game. I have no idea what this thing is. Ah, so Z is to chuck away. Everything's moving well. The music, although very good, it's starting to get a bit repetitive now if I'm being truthful ah so you can do like a dash I like that oh I like that oh
Rank B there. Up. I love the, de the attention to detail. The big blocky sprites before they come and attack you. Going across the screen. That's awesome, that is. And one criticism. Yeah, you don't feel the sort of like... You don't get the satisfaction so much of hitting these guys. It's very powder puff. Mixing it up with a few more different enemy sprites, which is nice. This big fat geezer. Also, the animations, it's... You know, I know this is a Mega Drive game. I get that. And what it's doing is absolutely amazing, but... It all smooth. It all runs very smooth, but it could have done with an extra couple of animations in this guy, I think. Ah, so you can choose. Continue. Yes. So we've gone up the stairs. There's more people running away here. So have you got Paprium, guys? Let me know if you've got it. just hoping that this video is giving this, the visuals of this game justice. It's very hard filming on to it, my PVM. The music's sort of like down-toned. It's got all the attributes, it's got everything that a side scroll and beating up needs. Oh no, that killed me. That's a life down. I ate something there, guys, out of that trash bat bin. It's engaging, it's very good. It is a very good game. Um, the only thing I've noticed so far is this sort of kind of powder puff hit. You know, you're a big strapping geezer there and you should be making them awesome smacking sounds of what you get in Streets of Rage and other games. But it's not here, it's very, very powder puffy. Absolutely awesome scenery, brilliant backdrops, great use of parallax scrolling, plenty of layers there, some lovely lighting effects done, I like how you can interact with some of the scenery as well. This is a better track as well. I really like this music. That's pretty cool. I'm just taking it all in. I'm just soaking up everything that's around me in this game. So apologies for the poor gameplay. Great effects there. Love the strobing as we do on all these games. We've got to have a train subway tube station scene. Oh, we've got some, a different one in there, like a android with boobies.
So, do we get off the train or do we stay on it? Let's stay on it. I do like how you've got the different paths. Is this guy going to just observe for now? Was he just taking a slash in the corner of the room? Or train? Surely I've got to fight this guy now. No, we're getting off the train. Ah, oh, here he is. Took him out with our little blue pill there, guys. Wow, this looks cool. I'm loving the effects there. We're going to make this the last little section, guys. It's not about me going all the way through the game. It's just first impressions. It's like in a shopping mall or... Come here then, geezer. Okay, so there's these folks doing their shopping. Yeah, I would just say the interaction with your hits is my only negative. I don't like that. I think it's all very wishy-washy. Apart from that, the sound effects and everything else are spot on. Great sound, great music. I'm really digging the game to be fair, it's really good. We're getting quite a few enemies on screen at once as well, which is really good. You know, the extra software, hardware inside the cartridge. She's actually vomiting, isn't she? <laughs> I love that. I love how they come up on the screen That Very Neo Geo-esque. Oh, SNK. These guys are a major pain. And how the music goes funny as you're about to die. I'm sure that's why it's distorting. Because I'm about to lose life. Kind of feel more sluggish as well. So we've got another boss guys not being that impressed with the bosses so far in this that's the guy out of the advert something else that's coming apparent to me guys as I'm playing through this is your jump kick if you will your, your in air attack is pretty much invincible. Okay. 
And there we go, guys. There is some paprium. We're going to leave it there because I'm sure we're going to come back to this game over time. So, yeah. All these years we've been waiting and paprium is finally here. This is an expensive game to pre-order. Um, overall, I'm really pleased to finally get something. You know, I'm really chuffed to have something. I ain't keen on the life of this. This is not going to last like an original Mega Drive game. It's cardboard. This is the Investor Edition. The pre-order one was in a, in a typical sort of Mega Drive Genesis case. I get that. But this is something niche. This is something really nice. And it's going to sit proud in the Sega wall. Now, we got to talk about my, my first impressions. I'm very impressed. Um, graphically, the game is awesome. I'm loving the sound effects, the attentions to details. I'm a still a little bit up in the air on the fence about the soundtrack. I'm hearing stuff that the Mega, I've never heard the Mega Drive do before. And it feels very Neo Geo. I'm not sure if I'm keen on it yet. I've not played enough of the game to, to judge that really. But graphically, how it plays, gameplay controls, extremely responsive guys. Really responsive. You can see that this game has been in development a long, long time. There's a lot of polish on this game, what I've seen so far. But there is some worrying things setting in towards the end there especially. And um, the jump attack that seemed to be effective on everything. And towards the end there, it's kind of invincible. You can um, jump attack the end of level bosses. Anyone, you know, seems to be affected by that. Which, you know, that might change later in the game. I'm not sure. But that was a little concern I had. Me being extremely critical. And I think we have the right to be after waiting so long and was promised so much with this game. It doesn't feel satisfying when you're hitting in this game. That's just me personally. I don't I don't think the hit mechanic is spot on. It works really well. It's just the sound effect. You don't get that satisfaction of, of a Streets of Rage punch or a Final Fight punch. And um, yeah, I think that's my main criticism of the game. And first impressions, guys. I will do an update video on this when I've played all the way through it. I just wanted to get something out there just so you guys could see that I've got this in the collection. And I'm really chuffed to have it in the collection. I really am. But I've had my serious face on. I've had my face of not really knowing how I feel about the game. And it's ending on a positive I really like this game. I love my side scroll and beat em ups. And this is a great one to add to the genre. And I'm really looking forward to playing this all the way through. And you know, this is just first impressions, guys. There is Paprium. First impressions. Let me know. Comments down below, guys. Have you got it? Are you going to order it? Will you trust Watermelon? Apparently, they've got a new game they want to do. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, all of this, guys. Until then, I'm Sega Zombie. Goodbye. Sega, Sega, Zombie. Zombie. Sega, Sega, Zombie. Zombie. Sega, Sega, Zombie. Zombie. Sega, Sega, Zombie. Zombie.